The Philadelphia Eagles are renowned for their strong defense, consistent, aggressive, and unwavering. Yet, beyond the gridiron, we see reflections of this defensive posture within the dynamics of black families, particularly regarding historical trauma and a deeply embedded protective instinct. It's almost as if there's a parallel between the Eagles holding their line and black families defending against generational pain and societal pressures. But is this kind of defense always beneficial, or does it sometimes come at a cost? In exploring this idea, we can look to voices like Bishop D. E. Polk. Known for his inclusive spiritual outlook, Polk has discussed the healing power of openness and love in overcoming deep-rooted traumas. His work encourages people to transcend inherited divides and transform generational wounds by embracing collective healing. Polk's message underscores that true strength may not come from pushing others down or one-upping them, but from uplifting one another breaking down harmful patterns of competition within families that can leave lasting emotional scars. In Dr. Suraj Yengde's Cast Matters, he explores how social hierarchies can lead to an ingrained need for validation and superiority, what we might call one-upmanship. Yengde argues that marginalized groups, such as the Dalit community in India, and by extension black families in America, often internalize these hierarchies. This need to outdo others, even within one's own community, becomes a defense against a society that perpetually tries to devalue them. Similarly, Rantiad Benson Idahosa's work with Pathfinders, an organization she founded to support survivors of trafficking, sheds light on the complexities of breaking free from trauma. Benson Idahosa teaches that while protective defenses can be essential for survival, they can sometimes transform into barriers that prevent growth and healing. Her message, rooted in empowerment and self-discovery, encourages individuals to see strength in vulnerability and community support not merely in personal superiority. Whether on the football field or in life, there's a time for defense and a time to let go. The Eagles' strategy may work well in sports, but in the real world, especially within family structures affected by historical trauma, holding the line too fiercely can often result in competition that fractures rather than fortifies bonds. As we navigate the effects of generational pain and protectionism, voices like Bishop Polk, Dr. Yangde, and Rantiad Benson Idahosa remind us to seek strength in unity rather than division. So next time you witness one-upmanship within your family or community, ask yourself, are we building each other up or merely defending a line that keeps us divided? Real strength is collective. Real progress is inclusive.